What's up, Jabroni Steven here? Welcome back to yet another reaction. Today we are hopping into Chuck episode number 19, Chuck versus the Dream Job. Hopefully it's a great episode. Hopefully you've been enjoying the series. If you have, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Head over to Patreon for the full uncut, unedited reaction episodes. Extra early over there if you want them. If you don't want them, totally cool. You can get episodes here whenever they show up. So, last episode, I mean, the big, big thing was uh, we're meeting Daddy. Um, I don't know who Daddy is. The thumbnail showed Chevy Chase. If it's Chevy Chase, I ain't going to be happy. Um, I think Chevy Chase is kind of like okay in small doses. <laughs> um, I'm not the biggest fan of him. I like his old stuff, like uh, Caddyshack and stuff like that. But his new stuff, um, he was fine in our community until he was written off that thing for, uh, you know, his personal stuff. Um, so I'm hoping it's not him. I'm hoping it's kind of like just starting us off with that thumbnail. Uh, but if it is, uh, we'll see. I mean, the way they describe the dad doesn't seem like a Chevy Chase kind of character, <laughs> but we'll see. Hopefully, it's a great episode. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Let's just hop in here and have a good time. Pretty much. Here we go. He's your father, and he seemed happy to see you. I think. I thought it was just lack of recognition followed by shock. Hey, Creed. Uh, huh? Nope, not Chevy Chase. Awesome. Yes, of course she does. We both do. It's not a good idea, but tell her that I'm happy for her. Are you, are you joking? You have to do this. She's your daughter. Don't you want to be? I can't. I, I don't want to hear what you can't do. I've seen what you can't do. <clears throat> wow. You abandoned them when, what, Chuck was like 16, 17, and Ellie was like 19, 20? Few things together. Coming? Ah, he's bailing. Are you okay? Or... I'm be mad. Ellie, hey. Hey, Chuck, just a sec. We could do the cranberry, which would really bring out your, um, your pancakes. Oh, boy. You said you were going to make pancakes. I was, yeah. But then I realized that, you know, we can hate him for the rest of our lives, or we can choose to forgive him. It's easier to hate him. I was just telling, uh, Deb, that I, um, I practically invented your TV. Ted Rourke and I came up with it back in grad school. Ted, hey, you went to school with Ted Rourke? Rourke and guys oh my God, he's not, he's not lying. Teeth. Well, how about I uh, order the pizza, pepperoni? Rourke's released That's gonna flash on something. Oh, well, forget Microsoft. I've dreamt of working for Rourke since college. Although, does it actually qualify as a dream come true if I go in as a janitor? You're going in as Charles Bartowski. Your name, your resume, your Stanford degree. Me at R.I. The time for you to see if you would have got in. You know, without the other stuff. Oh, Jesus. Here we go. What are these dumbasses doing? <clears throat> come on, big Whoa. Michael. Oh, they want to go to the Expo. We have a proposition for you. Really? Thank you so much. That's not gonna be real. Oh, thanks. That's not gonna be real, though. Uh, I mean, it's real, but he can't. They're not gonna let him stay there. Hey, I don't know what to say. I'm a little speechless. Welcome to the team. Of course, I was the first one he told. You guys are over. Yeah. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm the freak out. Morgan's gonna bring it up, and then my dad's gonna get mad. Hi, Sarah. Hi. Chuck. Chuck's new job. What? That's what I hear. You know, Lester tells me that you're leaving your old buddy and you buy more behind to go all corporate over at Work Instruments. Oh, uh, shit. The man who stole everything from me? Oh, uh, Jesus. We'll have access, free. Chuck's gonna have to interfere and ruin his job. Our latest song. Or his fake job. Security, we've never released. I could get fired. It's not your real job. Hurry. Six, five, four. You must have gotten promoted. No, don't worry about this right now. Ellie's gonna see him ruining I, I, this, I, I, and she's gonna think it's on I, I, purpose, or as a father, or something. The CIA believes that your software has been infected with a virus that, when released, people batting. Uh oh. Take it. Grab it out of his hand. Oh. Hey. <laughs> oh nice yeah oh nice lasser oh my god 
Maybe Chuck has got a good explanation. Sure, awesome. Devin, I'm sure he does. He probably just forgot the whole thing happened, right? Just like at your bachelor party. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, that was a low blow. Oh, he's like, this is my job again. It sucks. Maybe he'll just quit. He saw what his life could have been. The kind of job he could have had. Oh, he's a wild last man. A great cop, but we're turning that into a TV series or a movie. How can I use the I ruined every good thing that ever happened to me. My family, my job, my entire life. Thrown I miss getting advice from you. I thought maybe he would see like the whatever Chuck was looking at and it'd be like, hey, those are my some things. And it'd be, be like a connection to him with the intersect or something. It'd be crazy. Rourke has an intersect. What? An intersect. Rourke has one. An intersect to crunch all that data. Only that someone like awesome. Rourke could do that. In the background. Dead Rourke is working for Fulcrum. There's no proof. Beckman will laugh in our faces. Mm. This apple doesn't fall too far from the crazy tree, does it? Okay, 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 Casey. I'm the fuck down, Sarah. All right. Sarah. Okay, Chuck. Those are like cute outfit, Bartels. Ah, oh, shit. Give me that back again. Yeah, and I want you to take off my gear before I break your geek neck. No way. That's a. That's I know what I'm doing. That's like a you have no tranquilizer idea. thing or something, right? That's not a real gun, because the way. Get your ass. Back. Train Casey. Oh my god, three times. Like the personal stuff is awesome. The tech working out here, trying to figure out what's happening here is awesome. The father stuff is really good. I wanna see Ted Rourke. Look, oh, it's your dad. Me, but I'm not gonna let that son of a bitch screw my son. Oh, hands shit, off your dad. Listen, you oh, oh. It worked. We have to go, we have to go right now. Wait, isn't that the Orion thing? Did an Orion have something like that? You're Orion. Where's Chuck? I thought maybe the dad was something got like what the government thing, but not pain. The Orion. My father invented the intersect. That's not true. I didn't invent all of it. Just the really cool stuff. You wanted me to break in here. Why didn't you just say who you were? You put it Trusted like me. that on purpose. After wow. not seeing me for program do. Well, usually the intersect works in the other way around, but I don't see any reason why I shouldn't be able to take out information. Okay. In. Good luck, Charles. Can I go wrong? Oh. Oh, okay, no. I figured. Doesn't work. But I'm sure you'll have it up and running in no time. Oh, it was a trap. You always they did have a way with machines, Orion. They needed and you. remember I always had well, his lucky day. Man, Terry Chase actually was pretty good in this episode. Shotgun on the chopper. Let's go. They, they toned him down but kept his little quirks. Oh man, Chuck's never gonna see his father again again. Again, again. <laughs> Take care of your sister. No, take care of yourself. Dad, you can do this without me. I'm not gonna leave you. Remember when I told you not to trust your handlers? Maybe I was wrong. Oh man, this sucks, yo. He finally finds out the real truth about his father and personal entanglements is what's gonna help me complete the mission. I thought that I want my oh damn it now we have to tell Ellie that he left. Fuck. Dad? It's not. It's awesome. Cause he didn't come back. Ah. Uh, Ellie, I don't know how to tell you this, but ah, uh, I think your dad may have split. I'm not going anywhere, ever. Oh damn. I mean, no matter how hard things get between us. It's so bad for her. I yelled at him about what happened at your work today. I think I said some things that. Ellie, it's not your fault. Well, no. I guess you can't I tell her the truth. Too much from him. You can't tell him the truth. You tell her the truth. Don't count him out yet. Well, that was episode number 19, Chuck versus the Dream Job.
Uh, that was one of the best episodes of the entire series. It might actually be the best. Um, just because uh, it's built up so many of the characters. Like, I genuinely got emotional when Chuck's when Chuck saw his dad getting taken away. The Orion twist was really good. At least emotional moment was really good. The, even though when they fought was really good. Um, Chevy Chase, they handled him well. I wasn't sure if they would. I was actually kind of worried about that because, you know, um, you know, Terry Chase, like I said, is good in small doses and they kind of tone him down here. So I'm really cool with that. Um, we didn't get a lot of the buy more stuff and I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that love to buy more um, scenes and stuff. And I like some of them. But for the most part, the buy more stuff is the stuff I don't really care about. Um, occasionally when they'll do episodes, they're kind of like combine the, the buy more with the spy stuff. It becomes interesting. Um, but there aren't many of them that they do that, that are like as good, are really that good. Um, uh, I think the buy more for season three and beyond should become very, very much secondary to the show. But that's just my opinion. I don't think the character should become secondary. I think being in the buy more should become secondary. Um, you know, like Tony Hale's character don't need him. We don't really need big Mike that often Only occasionally, um, there's just some people that you you can kind of like make them very much side characters. Like I want Morgan to always be around. Jeff and Lester could come in occasionally. Um, but that's just my opinion. I know there's a lot of people that actually really, really love the buy more stuff. So you know, that's just me. Uh, but like this episode where we had very minimal buy more stuff, really no buy more stuff. Um, it was amazing. Yeah, I really loved it. I'm leaning towards like a nine. Uh, I don't know if show episodes will get better than this. It might actually be a 10. Um, cause I don't know if any episodes will be better than, um, an episode like this where it hits, and everything um i mean i didn't really pull too much of the comedy stuff but it hit you with emotion which is something that like i would never have said about chuck <laughs> gonna really pull at your heartstrings there and i thought it did a really good job at that um so we'll break it down between nine and ten but we'll break it down see what we can figure out here so we start off we're meeting dad i keep talking about how his dad was crazy and kind of nuts and the dad's being weird and he ta he's talking about the government and or not yet he when we're about to leave and after Chuck yells at him about well, no you have to be there for Ellie he then looks out the window and says okay we should probably go at night because they're watching us so was he pretending the entire time that he was crazy or was it like a genuine fear it was a genuine fear but I don't know because as um as Orion he didn't really have much fear he kind of was always out in the open I guess since he knew you know have to fake his own death and stuff. Um, all right, I love this moment here. Him walking in and Ellie just looking at him saying, You said you were gonna get pancakes. But that was actually a really good scene. Uh, Amazon is not takes forever with this now. That was a great scene. I very much liked it. Um, then Devin's talks with his dad a little bit. Chuck talks to Ellie, talks, you know to bring up the past then when we're having a conversation together the dad starts to talk about stuff that he built i did notice something in the scene let me see if i can find it before chuck flashes i'm like that no no it's fine before chuck flashes he kind of uh, the dad kind of pushes Shape. the thing almost Plasma crystals back in high school oh perfectly right here is it here <laughs> never saw a dime for it is it here I went to school with ted rourke the rourke instruments guy also. Yeah, he took all my ideas, and uh, I I never got anything. Guys, uh, right here. Thief. Look at the way he places the thing. I noticed it, but I was like, that was weird. I didn't. Okay, see? You see how he kind of pushed it? But I when I saw it, I was like, oh, I probably was just like a really bad acting scene. Like I thought it was a poor acted scene where it was like, oh, you know, everybody puts stuff down like this on purpose, like you know, like on purpose, um, like right, like randomly. But he actually did it with a purpose for Chuck the Flash. That was awesome. So. He, that was actually really good. Sato too. Like I caught it, but I wasn't sure. I'm like, that was weird. <laughs> um, so I guess to go interview for his dream job. And then when I as himself, talk about like be real, be who he is. Um, we have Jeff and Lester here going to the uh, to the expo. Chuck gets the job. We meet uh, Chevy Chase's character, whose name is um, Ted Rourke. Um, who will care. the episode is about like a virus that he's going to release into the world we think um, I love the scene where, where they tell <laughs> Morgan 
And he's like, of course, I was the first person he told. I think Morgan Perfect. knows that Chuck's cheating on the buy more. You know, your boyfriend just took a job at Rourke? Yeah, of course, I was the first one he told. You guys are over. <laughs> the smile is awesome. Um, then we have the dinner. And of course, he tells him about, you know, he mentions it here. The dad talks about, this is, I guess the one thing is here, we didn't get to see what actually happened at the dinner um, table. It kind of just jumps from, I'm going to go work for my enemy. And then it kind of um, goes right into it. I kind of wish that the dad would have had like a, a little bit of an argument with Chuck here. But I guess it doesn't make sense. It actually doesn't make sense. What I wanted here, what would have made this scene better doesn't make sense. Is it not because by the ending, we know that the father wanted Chuck to go there. You know what I mean? And if he would have yelled at him and stuff, it probably, probably would have put out in Chuck and stuff like that. So it actually doesn't make sense what I would, what I, what would have made sense. What would have made sense at the moment here doesn't make sense in the grand scheme of what the episode was when we find out what the reveal is. Actually did it right there. Uh, so we jump here. Yeah, so I, even my small nitpicks are nitpicks that I have for moments, but don't, don't really bland, don't really make sense for the overall arc of the episode. So, um, yeah, this is a great episode. I love this episode. Um, I love these guys. You look right, you looked right past us. Can't get it. We can't get um into the thing. So Chuck has to stall. The dad's watching Chuck on the, the thing. Ellie's watching as well. Um, and then Chuck actually does what I would have done. I would have I would have talked to the guy, but like, yeah, I risk in the thing. And then when the guy doesn't listen, grab it and run. He then runs. He gets caught. Gets beat up. I love how Jeff and Lester are, are helping Chuck out. <laughs> guy with the you call yourself a Stanford man. Then we uh, were yelling at Awesome um, about what happened with Chuck, blaming the dad. And then I thought this scene was amazing where <laughs> Awesome's kind of like for a second defends the father and Chuck. And then Ellie's like, uh, I don't know. Like, there was like the whole she brought up the bachelor party thing, right? Which I was like, oh my God, what a low blow. <laughs> what a messed up thing. I didn't tell him to do anything. Come on, dad. Why? Oh man, Amazon, you got to get your shit together. Chuck has been waiting for 10 years to impress A really good scene. You want me to trust you? Ellie, maybe your dad's uh -huh. right. Maybe, maybe Chuck has got a good explanation. Sure, Devin, I'm sure he does. He probably just forgot the whole thing happened, right? Just like at your bachelor party. Oh, it's such a low blow. <laughs> uh, Chuck then figures out that the, um, well, his dad comes in, talks to, well, after the dad talks to uh, Chuck Awesome about you know, to let Ellie kind of breathe a little bit. Then he talks to Chuck about, hopefully you didn't do this because of me. Then we find out Chuck, um, Chuck figures out that the layout of Rourke Industries or whatever um, is actually the layout of the intersect. He tells Casey, tells um, Sarah about it. They don't believe him. And then we have a really good scene of um, that Casey takes a shot here about the crazy tree or whatever the fuck. Then we have this amazing little scene here where Chuck kind of gets his shit together and he's about to be a badass. Come on, hurry up. I like the music this plays too. The music really builds up really, really well. It's really great. I love it. And then when Casey catches him, he shoots Casey twice, hits him in the neck the third time. <laughs> Great little scene. So I guess we did have some comedy as well, but he blended in there. It was awesome. Then we find out the dad, then Chuck with the... I'm like, oh, they're going to do the... He missed everybody. But no, he actually hit every single one of them. Good for him. And then we get the reveal, which I want to see. As soon as he pulls out the thing, I'm like, wait, that's the same thing Orion had. I'm not who you think I am. It's good to see you. I want to see the reveal here again. This is really good. Hands up. We should go, Charles. Oh, my God. You're all right. Such a good moment, man. Good moment. You know, let me have this whole moment here about, you know, 
how he's Orion, how he's faked his death, how once they once you know the inner sect was in him, he had to try to protect them, and then he was Fulcrum was creating their own inner sect, and he was trying to protect them. Then we find the thing we're finally going to take it out of Chuck's brain, right? Something goes wrong. Turns out, oh yeah, the inner sect that they have doesn't fucking work. It was a trap it was the whole time. To get, well, not a trap. It wasn't really a trap, but essentially they want they needed they were they've been looking for this guy for a while. Um, and I thought that this emotional moment here. Where essentially, um, Chuck's father takes his, sacrifices his life essentially for Chuck um, to get Chuck to safety. I thought this was handled well. If your son's gonna music walk, again. he should do it now. Like the music, like the music choice here fits. So good, so good, and then the ending here where. She's the pancakes. She thinks it's her father making it up to her. Not her father. Awesome. Person that's gonna add the man that's actually gonna be there in her life beyond beyond Chuck. Um you got the emotional moments. Then you have Chuck come in. Ellie feels it's her fault. It's not her fault. But she's taking the blame. Chuck can't tell her anything. And we see that uh the dad's working on the intersect. Great episode. I absolutely loved it. I thought it was phenomenal. Um, I'm going to give it, I, like I said, I'm between a 9 or a 10. I don't know if episodes will get better than this. Maybe they will. Maybe there'll be some more emotional stuff, but I love this episode. Uh, but yeah, that's my reaction. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Patreon if you want full reactions, uncut, unedited. Episodes extra early over there on Patreon if you want it. If you don't, that's totally cool. You can get episodes here whenever they show up. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to talk to you guys 